The Russian Blue is a naturally occurring breed that may have originated in the port of Arkhangelsk in Russia. They are sometimes called Archangel Blues, which is such a pretty name to be honest. Russian Blues may have arrived in Northern Europe in the 1860s and they even competed in the first cat show ever, which is very cool. The breed was developed mainly in England and Scandinavia until after World War II. In the United States, the Russian Blue has also been bred with Siamese cats, so that's why Russian Blues found there look different from the ones found in Europe. But enough with the history of the Russian Blue, let's see how a Russian Blue should look like. Firstly, it's really hard to accurately describe their beauty in words or pictures. You should definitely see one to be able to truly appreciate its beauty. But nevertheless, the Russian Blue comes in a shimmery bluish-gray color, hence the name Russian Blue. When a Russian Blue looks at you, you will definitely be mesmerized. And this is a weapon they're not afraid to use, especially when asking for food, but more about that later. Russian Blues are an athletic breed, meaning they're pretty muscular and are heavier than they appear. They also have long legs, which they shamelessly use to jump on every shelf you own. However, they're a small to moderate sized cat with an average weight of 8 to 15 pounds when fully grown. The double coat is described as thick, plush and soft to the touch. Perfect trip for an unsuspecting human hand. So now that their beauty is out of the way, let's see what their personality is like. Cause you can't just get a cat for its looks, right? Or maybe you can if you look too much into those eyes. The Russian Blue personality is gentle, sweet and affectionate, but not clingy towards family members. This is a reserved cat, but once he gets comfortable with you, you'll be able to truly enjoy its personality. The Russian Blue makes an excellent loyal companion, constantly following its owners around the house. They seem to prefer one human over all others in the family, but this is not always the case. But as I previously said, this breed is not a clingy one. It will most likely not get separation anxiety even if you work for many hours away from home. The Russian Blue can easily entertain itself, but this doesn't mean the Russian Blue is not affectionate. He just prefers to love from a distance. He doesn't usually like being picked up, nor is he into long cuddling sessions. But your Russian Blue will definitely end up sleeping with you. Don't even dare to think otherwise, as Russian Blues become quite stubborn when they decide they want to do something. Moreover, this breed doesn't like change. He expects things to be a certain way and he is thrown off when things change. The Russian Blue expects his meals to be delivered on time. If you fail to do this, he will be a faithful alarm clock. When guests come to your house, your Russian Blue will retreat, although he may choose to interact with them later if he feels like it. Russian Blues never rush into a situation without carefully observing first. This personality trait has earned this breed a reputation of being shy or aloof. So overall, Russian Blue is an affectionate but independent cat that will follow you around but will most likely not be a lap cat. What about kids and other cats? The Russian Blue personality does best with older children who won't scare him. He doesn't do really well with small children. However, if he is raised with your children or with cat-friendly dogs, he can get along with them well. Unfortunately, if your Russian Blue has not grown up with other pets, it will be really difficult to get another cat or another dog. That's because Russian Blues don't like change and might get scared. What environment do they need? The Russian Blue does best in a quiet, stable environment. Besides this, your Russian Blue will definitely need tall spaces he can climb up on. Cat trees and cat-proof shelves are a must, as the Russian Blue feels best when he can observe what's happening from above. He has an incredible ability to jump really high, especially due to its long legs. Are they indoor or outdoor cats? Definitely indoor. First of all, the Russian Blue is really skittish. As a result, he will not enjoy the outside very much and could easily run away from you if he gets scared. So big no-no here. Secondly, your Russian Blue is a skilled hunter, posing a real threat to wildlife and especially birds, so it's a no-brainer they need to be kept indoors. Moving on, let's discuss their activity level. Russian Blues are active, but not as active as some people may think. On a scale from 1 to 10, they score a 6. However, they do retain their kitten-like energy until they are 3 to 4 years old. We could say they hate to grow up. Even when mature, you'll easily convince them to play with you. And the best part, they love stuffed toys and easily entertain themselves when you don't have the time. However, they do prefer to have you play with them with a feather fishing pole. You'll find a link in the description to a really cool one. Overall, they're really manageable when it comes down to playing. Just don't forget the stuffed toys. Intelligence Opening doors, learning to wake you up, opening cupboards and figuring ways to get anywhere. Yep, these are all things a Russian Blue can and will do. Russian Blues are highly intelligent and will use this trait to their advantage. Moreover, they become quite stubborn when they decide they want to do something, like running around your house at 3 am. On the bright side, they're said to be sensitive to human emotion, like understanding when you're sad and comforting you. And they're also known for playing fetch, so you could make really fun YouTube videos. So we learned that Russian Blues are very intelligent, but how loud do they get? Is it okay to have them in an apartment? 
Luckily, the Russian Blue has a quiet voice and is not especially vocal. However, things change when it's mealtime and your Russian Blue doesn't have a full bowl of food. If this situation arrives, expect the Russian Blue to meow really loud in order to get what he wants. But if you stick to a schedule, your Russian Blue will have no reason to meow, so your neighbors will not be disturbed. Moreover, Russian Blues can become a faithful conversation partner. They will respond if you talk to them, and they can learn the meaning of many words. So you'll never get bored, even if you live alone. What if you're allergic to cats? Sadly, if this is the case, you can still have problems even if you get a Russian Blue. Even if Russian Blues are a hypoallergenic breed, they still produce the protein some people are allergic to. They do produce less of it than other breeds though. Thus, if you're allergic to cats, a Russian Blue can be a more suited choice for you. How will a Russian Blue do if you're working away from home? Luckily, this breed does just well as it's more independent in nature than other breeds. If you provide the Russian Blue with lots of toys, your cat will easily entertain itself when you're at work. Or he might just sleep all day and wait for you to return. When you get back from work, expect him to greet you at the door and act happy to see you. What if you're going on vacation? Well, things get trickier indeed when you leave your Russian Blue alone for more than he's used to. Your cat can get really sad and even a bit depressed, but won't become destructive in the process. When you go on vacations, it's best to leave your Russian Blue at home and have a pet sitter or better yet a friend to come and give him food. Don't take your Russian Blue to a carrier's home as this breed does not like changes in its environment and such things might throw him off completely. On the bright side, expect your Russian Blue to shower you with affection for 2-3 to three days after you return from vacation. But let's talk about the things most cat owners dislike – grooming. How much grooming do Russian Blue cats need? Fortunately, they require minimal grooming. Because they have a short coat, they only need to be brushed once a week. Even if you don't brush them, they'll probably be just fine as they don't even shed a lot. However, if you want your Russian Blue to get used to being brushed, you need to start brushing him from an early age. Treats go a long way, so giving your cat a treat after a brushing session will make your Russian Blue more likely to accept it. Otherwise, if you don't start when your cat is a kitten, it can be hard to get the Russian Blue to accept to be brushed. And of course, your Russian Blue will also need to have its claws trimmed. How much do Russian Blue cats live? Life expectancy is very important to every cat owner. According to Wikipedia, Russian Blues have a life expectancy between 10 to 20 years, so overall a pretty good lifespan. Moreover, Russian Blues are really healthy cats, having no known genetic diseases. And now let's see how much they cost. A Russian Blue can cost from $800 to $1,200, but Russian Blue cats from famous breeding farms will cost up to $2,500. As a general rule, always buy kittens from respectable breeders and don't go for kittens with lower prices, as these kittens most likely are born in kitten mills and can also pose lots of health problems. Other options As always, if you find the Russian Blue to be too expensive, or even if you don't, there's always the option of adopting a cat. You can also opt to adopt an older cat and maybe you'll even be able to find a Russian Blue. But nevertheless, since millions of cats are put to sleep every year, it's always better to adopt, not to shop. All cats need love and love the same, and on the bright side, cats from shelters are almost free. So paying for a cat when you can get it for free doesn't really make much sense. And if you opt to adopt an older cat, you can easily assess its personality and get the perfect match. Because with kittens, it's pretty impossible to know the personality when they're small. So wrapping it up, Russian Blues are great for people who work all day or for people who prefer a more independent cat. They might be suited for people who are allergic to cats and for lazy people, because they require minimal grooming. They're not great, however, for people with small children and for people who are planning on expanding their family later on, either by having a kid or another pet. And they might not be very suited for people who want a cuddly lap cat, because they will most likely not be one. But nevertheless, Russian Blues are amazing cats and they're also very beautiful. Tell me in the comments if you want one. And if you have one, tell me in the comments what your Russian Blue is like. And now, click on one of the videos on the screen for some amazing cat information videos. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.